completed yet another sketchbook. This is a Moleskine Cahier notebook, and it is an A5. The paper is really thin, but it is fun to work in. So, yeah. So this one's taken me like about a month to complete, and I feel like I have finally began to understand how I want to use my sketchbooks with this one. I've had so much fun and it just comes so naturally and I think I'm finally getting to the point where I have an expectation to how I want, how finished I want the pages to be and how loose I kind of want them to be as well. This by the way, I, I literally just painted today because I was bored. Starting off with this boring little gluing in these Winsor Newton ink things, um, but I always hate the first page, so I don't really do much. Um, I think I was just like loose drawing with a ballpoint pen with this one, and kind of exploring, I've been really into like geometric shapes and like rectangles and hard shapes next to these are really loose, I don't know, faces or natural things. Um, so, and then this was from a National Geographic book that I cut out, um, and I had saved for ages. Um, it's this girl, and she's walking with, like, this, this deer or, like, moose head, and she's all, she's got blood all on her boots, and I thought it was fun. This, I have, I got this book that is called Angels in Art, and it's a bunch of, um, just paintings and, like, images of angels throughout like art history and this was just one of the paintings that I did a study of. I don't normally do like finalized studies like that. This this is actually one of the few pages I have like majority writing in. I think I've kind of got over you know writing every page of my sketchbook because that really takes up so much space and makes it look ugly, but this was a little like collage with some eyes. This, I cut out some fabric. I can't remember why, but this was like an excess amount. Um, with some drawings underneath. But then this is like, it's like a picket fence, but upside down. And then this is a little study from a Sidney Nolan painting. This, I think I drew on my first day of uni and I was like really bored. Um, so I was just completing a sketchbook spread. Same with this one. Um, what I've started to do in this sketchbook, which I haven't like done that much before, is I will glue in from like lined paper sketchbooks that I like doodles I've just done from them and it kind of gives this really cool like parallel line effects um, but this was just like a mess of a page so i don't really know what to say same with this one it's just like layer upon layer of like imagery like stuff stuff i did on on the train and i don't know i really liked this hand though like this weird monster thing um, more of these Windsor and Newton ink things, just because I like, I think the illustrations on them are really, really like, cute. Um, this was a painting idea, and then this, a bit of a collage, and I just did the face. I don't know, I did the body of the animal. Um, I don't really know what this page is. It's kind of me concepting um, ballpoint pen. I think this is a painting I'm going to do. This, I think this was just me testing out um, some watercolors and how watercolor would kind of work in the sketchbook. So I did like a foot and a cup and I think some plants maybe. Um, and then this was like the silhouette of some plants I have. Another one of these guys um, and just a bunch of like doodles, I don't know. Uh, let's see that one. I think I posted this page but it is an old postcard I found with writing on it. Um, that's also from the postcard, I just cut it up. Some geometric shapes and 88, I don't know why. I did that over this, this drawing I didn't like. But yeah, just a lot of like covering stuff up, I guess. Um, this one, I like. It was originally a drawing from class behind it, 
and then I painted the pages red, and then I just glued in this like doodle I did and added the flower. Um, but I think it looks nice. Like I think I don't know. That was from a postcard. That was from an exercise book that I was just like doodling in. Um, his hand looks so silly, like, so bizarre. Um, I think this was just like a concept page. This I really like this page. This might be my favorite page. Um, not. Not this, this is kind of lame, but this, like, and he has a ring pop here. That's my favorite detail. Yeah, he's just so smug. And it, the hands, I'm getting better at hands. I'm so happy about that. This is a flop of a page. Um, I think I was copying like a master painting and then this was just some crayon. Um, I have no idea what this is. I think I just used some excess paint to like make a border and then just doodled. Um, this cut out from exercise book and then just use some colored pencil. Um, this page, I I was originally drawing something here, but I didn't like it. And so I had this old um, uh, I, like artwork that I did and I just cut it out because it had like these stains on it. Um, I don't know if I was planning on doing something on this page. I kind of just like left it. This really abstract collage paper. I don't know, I just like the look of it. Um, this is like a train, I don't know, just sketching. The interior of a train, this weird like bird guy, I don't like him. This, <laughs> I, I can't remember why I did that, but I drew him and he's smiling. This, more from like the interior of a train, this was just from memory painted. Um, it kind of doesn't make sense. This was some like old paper I cut up and stuck in and then this was from like I was on the train home and someone was on the train like barefoot like toes out like wrinkling like uh, the toes were like grubbing about. It was so nasty and so I drew it obviously. Um, this page is a mess. I drew my hand, but what I tried to do was draw it, I don't know, from like that angle. So I was holding my hand out like that, but I was drawing it at a slanted angle and it made my fingers really long and I like that. And this was some testing out watercolors, I think. Um, this is someone in my class who was like side eyeing me. And then this was on a piece of cardboard, a portrait of someone from my class as well. This photo, it's a photo I took on the train home with my Eros order and it was because we had to print out 50 photos, we had to take 50 photos from my photography class and print them out and show them to everyone. Um, so this was supposed to be a photo that just like shows them who I am and so I thought I'd show them my, my Eros order after I've eaten it. And then this is a horse with three legs. Um, it's from a doodle I did a while ago, um, but like more refined. I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do with him. I painted over this original page because I didn't like it, and then I just put some other paper on top. This is a thumbnail for a painting I might do. More, this is a boring page. It's just stuff I've stuck in and some notes. Um, I did this, it's like a face, and then like a bunch of pears rolling around. And then this, I can't remember what this is called, but we did it in our photography class. Um, this was just, I was on the train and I was, I didn't know what to draw, so I was just like doing this like symmetrical thing, I don't know. And this is embroidery by the way, like I embroidered it into the page. Because this one was kind of boring, so, um, yeah. This was a little horse I did. I don't like this page uh, whatsoever, but, yeah. This is a cool page. A lot of stuff that I, like, have stuck in. This is, like, an exercise book drawing originally, and then I've just gone over with some colored pencil and marker into, like, this book. And then this is the same thing here, kind of, but I, I just went in with pen. And then I think that's a handle and an eye. 
that was someone on the train from behind and that's the handle again and then that's a shoe so amazing i know <laughs> um this is a collage i did i just stuck a bunch of a bunch i stuck this image of i think it's a sculpture or something it kind of looks like a dead person um but just floating in some water i believe next to i don't know if you can see this it's a, like a boar tattoo and a drawing i did a little sketch a silly, silly sketch this i meant to glue this in but this was uh like a little sketch i did i was listening to a salmon tour like artist talk while sitting on my bed and drawing and there's my laptop and here's like my bed frame and i'm kind of like sitting like this and i kind of i kind of made it look like a salmon tour painting in a way yeah i love salmon tour my favorite um this was a foot um kind of like someone who was sitting a few aisles down in like on the train and i could only see their foot but they got up before I could finish it, but it looks fine. Um, same with this person. Someone came and sat down in front and I could only get the feet in. And then this is a little self-portrait and I had the sniffles and so I drew this giant snot bubble. So epic, I know. And then this was from my sculpture class. I was just taking notes. <laughs> and then this was me drawing like an installation she was showing us. Um, my sculpture class is really boring. So I just draw. Um, but this is me like brainstorming for my my sculpture project. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I think I might do like an armature of these like weird guys, or I might like do this wearable painting thing. I don't know. And then these are more like ideas for sculptures. And then I wanted to go secondhand book shopping, but then I remembered that like. I, I already have too many books and it's too active of a task to read books in my opinion um, so I'm really far behind but this is what this last little spread is and yeah thanks for watching um, super epic painting video coming soon subscribe or blow up